So you think you've got the hang of building control panels. Now the real challenge begins with testing and fault finding. And this is where your skill set as an engineer really gets put to the test. When systems go live for the first time and a multitude of problems arise and you start to feel those on-site demands, this is where your logical skill set will be relied upon to overcome that emotional pressure. So learning how to test electrical control panels will really sharpen your problem solving skills. Here is where you will progress into a well-rounded control system specialist. And it's best to embrace fault finding and commissioning as stepping stones and a rite of passage on the way to becoming a well-rounded control system specialist. And understanding control systems at this stage isn't just about grasping how things work, it's about preparing you for anything the electrical world can throw at you. And learning how to test fault find and commission is the third step that I recommend individuals and businesses take when starting on the path to becoming well-rounded, capable and confident engineers able to deliver control and automation projects across any of the main sectors, whether that be smart home automation, commercial BMS or BEMS, and also industrial controls and instrumentation. And if you wanted a free training course in how to test electrical control panels, you can click the link in the description and we'll send you the details on how to access that training. Now, let me talk you through some key points as to why testing and fault finding is an important skill set to master on your journey throughout the controls and automation industry. So the first thing is system functionality. And this really starts to build a picture in your head and an understanding of how systems should work as a whole, how all the subsystems should work, and how the system should work down to an individual component level. And having that understanding of how everything should work and function enables you to then move on to this next key point, which is problem solving. So now we know how systems should function. When problems do occur, we can now think about things more logically and start to break things down and section bits of the system off to either focus on or to eradicate them and prove that they're working as they should, which helps in the whole fault finding and diagnosis procedure. And whether that's faults that have been caused by the initial control panel building phase or during the installation phase. And now we're in a position where we can rectify and make any necessary adjustments or changes to ensure that that system is running correctly as it was initially designed. And then the third key thing, and probably the most important, is site confidence. So having that skill set of being able to test, fault find, commission, understand the functionality of a system, really helps to reduce any of that on-site anxiety and stress when we initially rock up to site with issues to fault find. Because we're confident in our ability to stay logical breaking down the system bit by bit and rather than getting into an emotional state which happens I know firsthand I've been there when we don't have that confidence or understanding how to work through a fault also I'm not sure how many of you have been in larger engineering organizations where you perhaps have maintenance teams or service engineers that go out to site and I'm talking from experience here I used to be a service engineer for HP going out to site and having to fix and resolve various issues and more often than not back then before I gained the right skill set I'd have to rely on second line remote tech support so people based in the office or at home who had a higher level of experience and understanding who would help me remotely walk through and help try and fault find the issues that I was seeing on site. And what I soon realized, it's far harder for these people that aren't on site, that can't see what you can see, to actually fault find and resolve these issues. And it would take far longer, and usually these things were pretty obvious, silly little things that through just a bit more of an understanding of the system and how it should function, I would have been able to rectify quickly on my own. But I was having to rely on these second line remote support guys so just having this level of understanding just means that I don't have to rely on anyone else. I can rely on myself to actually get things sorted and get things fixed and get 
machinery and sites back up and running quickly. And ultimately, all of this that we've just been through allows me to be a much more effective engineer, much happier and confident, a happier boss if I'm employed, and a happier client. So mastering control panel testing, fault finding and commissioning is where the beginner has now advanced into the intermediate stage and is well on the way to becoming a well-rounded control system specialist. And this is where they now understand how the system functions as a whole, all the way down to a component level, how to effectively problem solve, and ultimately be much more confident in their ability whilst dealing with on-site pressures. And remember, if you wanted that free training course in how to test electrical control panels, you can click the link in the description and we'll send it over to you with the details of how you can access that. I'll see you soon.